I thought she died. She's not even in this game. How's he? How do you do that? Yo, DLC coming out a little bit early. And let's see what uh what Javi's peak has in store for us. I mean, this is actually like a, a match of Luchin quite, quite a lot. Yeah, Smash 4 anyway. Yeah, well, not in this game. You're right. Yeah, for sure. I haven't even seen a Marth. Like, why Marth when you got Kong? Oh, and Lucina. And Lucina. But, you know, speaking of Marth, you know, MK Leo has been putting out a little bit of knowledge. Uh, yeah. I, I actually witnessed it myself, his uh, Dancing Blade killing at 80% on Wario from center stage. Sheesh, and right now, man, this damage output for both of them actually looks pretty clean. Great. Oh, good Dancing Blade. It's such a great get off me tool, and whenever you have a fast character like you who wants to stay in your face, it's going to be a great option that. Uh, Ooh, with Javi, of course, whipping the punish off that Dolphin Slash. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just try to charge up another smash and going for that back there right there. Could have been really dangerous. Soft in there to bounce the fish. Ooh, still works. Still works. All right, then. Javi going to be up by a little bit right here. And I would be kind of sketchy, even, especially going. Sneak in a matchup like this where you know you can rack a ton of damage, but how are you getting these kills? Doesn't seem like Javi has any issue with that at all. The fact that you know, he still has confirmed into counting this just means that right. uh, he's going to be looking for similar setups that, that we've seen for years. Right. Oh my god, just going to run across dash attack. And he did the sliding tilt too. That looked, yeah, that looked really nice. Alright, so we get some tilt in here in the zone and two aerials. Oh, okay, if he had hit that second one, you know the bounce is just going to follow it up. Using the Dolphin Slash, expecting Javi to be a little bit uh, more offensive and in his face. Yeah, the spacing that Javi's putting out too is looking really clean. He's doing a lot of fade back into the aerials. Uh, make sure he's going to hit it properly. Okay, he's trapped on the right side right now. Has to get on that bomb in the way. Knew he was going to roll. That's right, just setting up more traps, forcing the roll from Jolt. And now we see Soft hit Nair into Bouncing Fish again, hitting him with the same setup. All right, all right. You know, I respect that. If, you're, if your opponent can't learn how to get around a set, you just continue to put it over and over and over until they figure it out. And I do love that Hobby's really mixing up his ledge pressure. He wasn't only going for that top hit nair. He did the bomb we saw as well and waited to see if he could get a grab. And then he's like, all right, so now that you forgot about the nair thing, let me do that again. Especially if you waited until it was like at a kill conversion too. Right. Oh, Ooh. and force him to air dodge into that. That platform didn't catch that boy. Oh, he would have been still been hitting over on the side of the stage. Right. But we see, you know, him still getting put in tumble. Hobby putting in work with his sheep. Oh, oh no. You hate to see it. He tries to dip, dip so low. Like, you're not going to hit me. I'm going to get back on the stage. We're going to start up. Oh, I'm done. But Hobby did hit him. So yeah, he, he was right. He did not get touched, though. <laughs> Let the record show. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Game two. And, I mean, he did lose, of course, but it wasn't a horrible situation. He didn't look like he was getting run over quite a bit. But if he can just adjust to that, you know, he should be okay. But are we going to see a character switch from Joe? Okay, going for... That, that's, that's, that's understandable. Fair. That's yeah. understandable because getting the tippers on really fast characters are... Getting tipper is hard enough as it is. Yeah. Getting it on a really fast character that weaves in and out uh, and drifts a lot, even harder. Not to mention that Javi is constantly playing in his face, so it's kind of hard to space anything when he's doing that to him. So I appreciate the Lucina switch. Yeah, we see a couple of fairs come out from Javi, but it's going to get stuffed out by an F up to Trying to get something started up with that second up tilt, but now Javi suddenly just running away with this one again. Got this man at 55. He's dropping down, recovering low, knowing that Javi's not really going to be able to, uh, to try and guard him from that distance. Ooh, he, and it looked like he tried to go for that setup where you just jump out there and then jump on top of the footstool and get the stock. Well, Javi is still sharking, using the dolphin strike, but it does trade. Nice up tilt in that up air. Dragged him down into more combo. Javi's not done yet. Push him all across the stage. Oh, using the shield breaker. That's like a what do I do? I don't know. <laughs> Just go for it option right there. I like that. I like it. it definitely worked. And now we see Joe. He didn't have a jump. Did no, he, he did. He did drop down jump. Uh, and tried to try to do throw a forward there. It did trade, so he had the right idea. I mean, but he got the damage. There, I guess. All right, so here we go. Gonna try to make something happen on stock two, but already getting hit by the. Oh, parrying the falling up air. Such a great tool. Now you're pairing the down air. Oh, okay, good land on him right there with that nair. Up tilt into. Oh my god, just so many tilts in the aerials. Like, how come you go good air dodge? You gotta immediately escape from those combos because you know Javi will make you pay with a bounce if you there. Yeah, Javi has such a good read on Jolt. He's he has a complete understanding of when Joel's going feeling pressured and wants to throw out an attack to try and relieve it. Gets the parry and then immediately continues to pressure Joel. Right. The only thing I'm seeing Joel escape with is these air dodges, man. That's all he has on Hobby right now. He needs to keep that in mind. And Hobby did land a soft hit there, but he wasn't able to convert. Just not ready for it to actually follow up with the bouncing fish. And now Hobby 
Ooh, shield looking real low. Yeah, so tiny right now. He's putting a little pressure on, but it doesn't look like it. You know, I don't think Jolt is really perfectly spacing these aerials the way he needs to, or perfectly timing them. He's kind of just swinging as soon as he's in the air. I mean, at this point, he just needs to put on some type of damage. And right. Javi understands the panic uh, options that are coming out from Jolt. Yeah, that panic counter for sure. Oh, the let's jump into back air. It does get a soft hit, so it's not enough to actually kill. Alright, gonna get the back air too. He's been strapped off the stage the whole time, forcing that roll. That is one of those great situations that top players are super aware of. If you pressure someone off stage enough, they're gonna just roll to try to get their feet on the stage. That's right. Okay, couple of back air landing. We see a parry into <laughs> up tilt. Okay, try to get a down tilt confirmed right there too, but good on Jolt to get out of the way. Jolt needs to put on some type of damage on the hobby. Ooh, Just get one. So yeah, get one, Jolt. Let's go. Let's Jolt's go, Jolt. Working his way back in high score until right there. Knocked him so far away, but can we get the knock off? Allowing Hobby to make it back to stage. Going off stage a little bit too early. Now we see the F smash to punish the Dolphin Slash. Into a back at two. Three stock. Yikes. Little yikes. <laughs> well, I mean, just Hobby showing that he's still strong in this game. I mean, there was a, there was a little bit of um, doubt about Sheik in yeah. this game. I think there's still even people watching that. It's like, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you still got no one's a believer yet. <laughs> hey, maybe a couple. Some people are in the chat right now. Like, I knew Sheik was still good. Let's go, Sheik. <laughs> no, those are the diehard Sheiks. You're right? Let's go. You, know, you gotta give it up for your diehard Sheik fans. <laughs> it's just like with CSS. Like everybody saw her. And it's like, oh, she's utter garbage now. And then Japan was I winning mean, stuff with uh I, with CSS. And I then never <laughs> thought Zero Suit was utter garbage just because of Zero Me Suit neither. has been good in like every game she's been in. Yeah, I think it, what it was is just switching over to her from the last game. Yes. Same thing with you know Sheik. Although of course these characters are a little bit worse. But they still